cool Scooby-Doo review. It was Cartoon Network's newest show, and I catched the boomerang recording of it. So, well, for one of the first times, I feel like I'm going against the popular opinion. And I'm going to say, it's a good show, okay? The first episode didn't wasn't that funny, but it was enough to pass for me. I mean, it, first of all, let me just say that Sadie from Steven Universe's voice actress is in this episode as Velma. And while not being as good as her predecessors, she's still good. Which is rather impressive for a show like this. I mean, I didn't expect her to be in the cast. Lights go out. But, no. It was definitely better than I expected. Definitely. And, to be quite honest, I found, I didn't find that many plot holes. I mean, the one thing I will say is the animation on the show is horrible. The music they used to match it is decent. So, yeah. Um, and they did flannerize Velma a bit more, and, but that's the direction they were heading with Mystery Incorporated from what I saw. Right? And it seems like Fred and Daphne have switched intelligences again. You know, a friend of mine said the show reminded him of a Scooby-Doo-ish Teen Titans Go. And I can quite clearly see how that would work. Thank you for watching my review of Be Cool Scooby-Doo.